Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 7 of Last FIFA 14 and I hope you guys had a great Christmas and still are enjoying the holiday and we are ready with another Last FIFA 14 episode and we start off by going up against a Premier League squad with a bunch of non-rare players and it's me getting the first chance, uh, proper chance in the 30th minute. Tadell here trying out two shots but it is saved and a few seconds later we pick the ball up and now look at this piece of skill from Ronaldinho. He uses one of the contextual turns to face the opponent and then he goes with the scoop turn past him then a nice pass to find Niang and in the end it's part of to finish it off and that piece of skill from Ronaldinho I thought looked extremely cool and after having recorded that I had to go back and watch it at least five to ten times because I thought it looked really really nice but yeah that makes it 1-0 and we continue into the second half trying to get another goal and we pick the ball up here after him not clearing it properly we find a pato and we'll make it 2-0 and it's always important getting that two goal lead and uh, yeah that's pretty much how it, it lasts all the way until full time but yeah again that two goal lead is always important because you know despite your opponent not creating any chances you never know if he's going to get a late goal and you're gonna drop two points so I was happy getting that second goal and uh, I get another three points in the division sitting on ten points now need four more points in order to promote a seven to get the title and uh, yeah we're ready to head on into another game we swap a few players around to get the fitness up uh, and play with the Premier League side and we come up against uh, another Premier League side would put y'all uh, on the center back as well and I was sitting on most of the chances in the first half here. It's Wellington breaking through, but it is saved. And a few minutes later, once again, Wellington on the ball, going past the defender, but a quite easy save for his keeper there. And then we go into the second half once again. Wellington getting on the ball. He takes the shot, but unfortunately, it's just over the goal. And then 64th minute, I cannot get the ball off Lukaku. And guess who's at the back post? It's Benteke. And I hate playing against him because you just cannot defend those. Uh, back post crosses when he's there he's just so very difficult to defend uh, because he's big and strong and he win wins most headers but I was trying to get it back into the game because it was completely against the balance of play him getting that goal he only had one shot on target in the game and that was that header so I really tried to get back into the game and in the 86 minute I break through with Ben Arthur, I find Ensanti and I get the equalizer to make it 1-1 but unfortunately I could not get that second goal because because I really should have won that game when you look at the full-time stats because yeah he barely created anything one shot a 42% possession uh, yeah I was sitting on most of the game and I felt I should have won it but nonetheless I would need seven points before the game so getting one point in this game was fine enough I would just need two more wins and then I would be sitting on the title as well so I was not too worried at getting a draw in that game but still it was a little bit annoying when he only had that one chance but nonetheless we head on into another game in the division hoping to get three points and we come up against another Premier League squad with Inform Kabai, Inform Erebayor and a bunch of other good high rated Premier League players but uh, I get the first chance with Alexander Pato going past the defender with the ball will drag back and I'll make it 1-0 there so a good start to the game and we continue on creating the chances here it's Alex breaking through with a few nice skill moves we try out this shot but he will save it and uh, Osvaldo gets on the ball again but he reads my play there and like runs back and covers up uh, my shot but we continue on creating the chances Ronaldinho finding Pato we caught him behind the defender with the fake shot we take the shot but once again, it is a save. So we're into the second half and we'll get that second goal with Alex here. And as I said earlier, always important to get that second goal in the game. And in the 90th minute, we get another chance. It's Ronaldinho on the ball. He'll pass it to Osvaldo and get it back. My opponent completely fails the pass there. And I go past another defender with Ronaldinho. I try out the shot and it's pass it to head in the rebound to make it 3-0. And that is how the game ends. So two goals from Pato and one goal from Alex. And we we get a comfortable win there and three more points so we are secured promotion now we are on 14 points but we'll of course be looking to get three more points to get the title and get the maximum amount of coins we can so uh, yeah after the game I decided to go out and pick up Hernanes and there on the 59th minute there was uh, Hernanes with a 50 contracts and that was pretty nice of all because I'll be able to play him for a bunch of games now and save a few coins on the contracts as well so uh, yeah we're ready to head on into another game hoping we can get the final three points and I come up against a uh, very strong Bundesliga squad with uh, Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund players and my opponent decided to quit the game before it even started so 
Nothing really happened apart from me from losing contracts, and that was a little bit annoying, but uh, yeah, we'll head on into another game, and we come up against, guess what, a Premier League squad, and uh, this game was just not going to be my game. I had the shots, but uh, Czech, he would save everything in the net, and he, he just rushed forward all the time, and he always seemed to get onto the ball, and here he makes it 1-0 with Jovetic, a nice little chip over my keeper, and it would just continue. Look how fast Rooney is, he completely outsprints Zapata, despite not being that much faster, but yeah, he makes it 2-0, and I try to cover the through ball to Rooney, but then just as I'm about to tackle him, he plays the through ball to Valencia instead, and he fires that one into the far corner to make it 3-0 and I tried to get back into the game and create a few chances but I just couldn't really challenge his keeper properly and he would save everything I had going on him so at half time he was leading 3-0 he had a few shots more than me I was sitting a little bit more in the possession but he was just hitting me on those counter attacks and here he makes it 4-0 into the second half and I would never really get back into the game I had a shot there but it wouldn't go in and in the end he wins 4-0 I felt it should have been a little bit more of an even game, but he probably did deserve the win in the end. He had quite a few more shots at full time than me, and yeah, I lose the game there, and still sitting on 14 points. So after the game, I decided to go out and pick up three contracts, uh, all for 250 coins e each, and then we're ready to head on into, into another game. I really wanted to pick up those final three points before we ended off this episode. So we head on into another game, and a very strong Premier League side there, and this game was going to be really lucky for some reason I don't know what caused it but uh, yeah as you can see I'm very very lucky but I will get the goal with Tadeli in the 11th minute to make it 1-0 and uh, we kind of kept on creating chances despite it being a little bit difficult with the lag in the game but it's uh, Tadeli once again on the ball trying out a shot there but it is saved and four minutes later I pick the ball up with Pato here and I'll go past this keeper and make it 2-0 and after that my opponent actually decides to rage quit and I was quite happy about that because the game was so very lucky but we win the title we get all the coins and that will pretty much be the end of the episode guys I hope you did enjoy it we'll be back again tomorrow thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later